Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Today's video is gonna be this fun springtime Easter look, trying to give those, you know, Easter bunny vibes, very soft, very kind of floral. Um, we're celebrating that the flowers are coming back and we're celebrating, you know, the warm weather coming back. So that's what this look is. I hope that you are excited. Uh, let's just jump right into it because this one's gonna be kind of succinct. I don't wanna take too long. So let's just get into it. Okay, so we're starting with the base makeup on. You've seen me do my base makeup a whole bunch of times if you've been watching the channel, but I just did my Lancome foundation. I did the Huda concealer, the faux filter concealer that I tried for the first time in my last video. I used the Huda setting powder, the Easy Bake setting powder, which I also tried in my last video. You're gonna see me use some things that I used in the last video, but I wanted to start with blush. We're gonna be doing kind of like a soft pink blush look using this BH uh, palette. I'm gonna be doing, I think, I'm considering maybe doing it across here, doing like a cutesy sort of a pink thing across the, the center of the face. I might start with the softest shade, which is like this one here. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, let's see how that goes and then we'll kind of go from there. You know what I just realized? I actually powdered there with the with the Huda setting powder, so it's probably not gonna show up that much. So maybe I'll just do this lightest pink here and then I'll take a little bit. You know what though? It is, it is showing up, like it is. I'm gonna kind of bring it back here a bit too. And then we'll uh, see what happens. It's funny though, it, it really is going over the, the Huda powder nicely. I'm gonna try using this smaller brush and I'm gonna go in a little bit more precise with this slightly deeper pink and I'm really just gonna take it under my eye. I'm really trying to get it on there. This is all building really beautifully, by the way. Like I, I had the setting powder down and then I put the lighter pink and now I'm doing this kind of brighter pink and it's all building really beautifully. I feel like I'm a little overexposed. Does it show up a little bit better when I turn down the light? Cause like I can see it when I look in the mirror. Now I think the last thing that I wanna do is with the blush is I wanna take a little bit of you know what, maybe I'll take this brush again, this fluffy one. I think we're gonna take a little bit of this, which is kind of like a slightly more neutrally pink, slightly darker, I think. Oh, there's no mirror. I almost just held up the palette as if it had a mirror. I'm just gonna put it here, just back here. Kind of bring it up a tiny bit. Maybe I'll even pop some on my forehead. That's why I like this palette, because there's so many different, like, variations in the shades and stuff. You can just kind of play around. I think I like that. So, like, here's this side, and then here's that. I feel like it kind of brings it together and makes it a little more natural. Right? Okay, so I think I would call the blush finished. It looks, you know, soft and natural, not super in-your-face and crazy, like I would normally do it. I'm gonna use Monster from ColourPop, the uh, Super Shock Highlighter. And I am just gonna do here, both sides. Again, just trying to be pretty soft. I don't wanna go too crazy. This is a light, springy sort of a look. Just diffusing this out over the cheeks. Probably put a little on my nose and forehead. I don't want to go too nuts though. Okay, so I would call the face done. 
Um, let me do my lips before I get into the eyeshadow because I'm going to try something new. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use two different lip liners. We're going to see how this turns out. I'm going to use, what are these called? Dopey. Don't know why this is called Dopey, but it's ColourPop. And Starship, also from ColourPop. And I'm going to try to, well, you'll see. So I'm going to put this deeper, like, it, you can see it looks more pink then like the actual product looks more pink than the packaging the, pa the packaging looks kind of purpley burgundy but the actual lippy looks more pink and i'm just gonna put it i'm just gonna kind of emphasize my cupid's bow and then like down here just bringing it down just a little bit farther maybe i'll even dramatize the shape of my cupid's bow a tiny bit maybe that's more than a tiny bit but <laughs> okay Ooh, that looks really cute actually i like that okay now i'm going to take the lighter one and i'm going to just line the rest of my lips Okay, so far that looks pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna go in with a liquid lip. I'm gonna be using one of the NYX uh, products that I tried in my last video. What's the name of this one again? Oh, Expose Me. So it's one of these lip lingeries and it's a liquid lip. It smells like cupcakes. I didn't get it on my nose this time. I legit want to eat this product like every time I put it on I think it has I don't think it does it taste sweet I don't want to like lick it but I feel like it has just a little bit of a either a sweet taste or my body just gets so confused by how sweet it smells that it's like thinking that it can taste it I'm gonna just build up with this uh liner a little more here Okay, that looks more symmetrical. How's that look? Beautiful, right? I like that. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Lost in Los Angeles palette from BH. This is just a soft, beautiful uh, pastel palette. It's a lot more pigmented than the Natasha Denona pastel palette. I know I just recently did a video using that palette, but these shadows are a lot more pigmented and show up a lot more intensely on the eyes. I'm going to be sticking with the more warm pinks in the palette. I'm going to start with the shade the 405, which is a very peachy, uh, kind of a pinkish color. I'm going to take a little brush like this. I'm just going to really get it in there. And I'm just going to take this up here. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a creamsicle color. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. Look at how gorgeous these, oh, that's so beautiful. BH makes the most beautiful, beautiful shadows. Wow, and look how effortlessly this is blending out too. Oh my gosh. I am legit like shooketh by how effortless that blend was. These are such beautiful shadows. Um, next, I'm just going to take a little bit of, how do you pronounce this? Weho? We, we who? This <laughs> kind of more, like, it, this is almost a creamsicle. It is, it does have that pink thing going on, but it's got a little bit more orange. This one here, Weho, is, uh, it's a little more like a, a legit peach. And I'm just going to take that in here. Wow, it's so soft. Oh, wow. Just on the inner part of the eye. Wow, that's gorgeous. Look at how effortless this blend is. Like, that's like done. I don't even have to do anything else with it. It's so beautiful. It's done. These shadows are like Natasha Denona levels of 
just effortless blending, or at least the mattes are. Now we're gonna try the shimmer. I'm gonna be putting a shimmer all over my lid. I'm gonna be using Sunset Boulevard. This is a beautiful pink to gold shift. First, we're gonna try it with the brush. Ooh, a little afraid I'm gonna get it everywhere. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. How beautiful is that? My lashes are sticking together. So nice. I was gonna take my finger and just amplify it a little, but I don't know, do I even need to? It's like gorge. I, I might try it. I might take a little on my finger, but first let me do the other eye. The smell of this lip product is making me want cake, like so badly. I'm gonna just take the tiniest bit on my finger. You see the shift in it? It's so beautiful. And I'm just gonna tap it right on the center of the lid to really try to just amp it up. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that really, that really brought some life into it. See the difference? <laughs> Let's put some more on this eye. Okay. Then next, I'm gonna do the inner corner. For the inner corner, I think I'm actually gonna go in with this shade Malibu. I was thinking maybe this shade, because it's very light, but it's very cool toned and this isn't a particularly cool toned look. So I think I'm gonna stick with Malibu. The only thing is I'm not 100% sure how well that's gonna go for the inner corner. If you've been watching, you know me, I usually go a little, a little too crazy on the inner corner, but let's hope. Oh, okay. oh I think that works. <laughs> That's beautiful. I think it works, you guys. I think it works. It works. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish up under the eye with a little bit of WeHo. There it is. <laughs> WeHo, or WeHo, or however the hell you pronounce it. I don't actually know what that is. Like, I don't really know a lot about LA, so. I don't know what the hell WeHo is. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Ooh, that's finishing it up nicely. What do you think? Am I giving like Peeps vibes? Am I giving like Spring Flowers vibes? Am I doing what I set out to do? I think I'm just gonna finish with a touch of mascara. I got the bad bad gal bang here and I'm gonna just oof, I really don't want to like go crazy or anything but I'm just gonna put a little just out here here we go I'm trying really hard to like not overdo it okay If you're watching me and you're like, that's not how you apply mascara. That's because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> if you're new and you don't know this, I'm super new to doing mascara. I never ever used to do it. I mean, I'm still relatively new to doing makeup in general. I've only been doing it for a couple years. But mascara I started doing around Christmas time because I was given this as a gift at Christmas time with Bad Gal Bang. I don't want to go too crazy so I guess we'll leave it there. Okay and here you have it a very soft feminine <laughs> springtime look um, to celebrate Easter. I hope that you like it. I hope that you were at the very least inspired to do your own little Easter look. And uh, if you're new here, 
uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. I post every Sunday and every Wednesday, so you can check me out on Sundays and Wednesdays. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the video. I hope that you guys have a great Easter if you celebrate, or a great just springtime, because this could definitely be just a fun springtime look for anybody. Uh, and I hope that you have a great week. I will be seeing you again on Wednesday. Peace.